of this was to connect to the street. As architect Jeannie Gang surveys her latest completed project, she talks about a concept that's both architectural and theatrical, walls. In theater, it's the fourth wall that's missing, and in designing the new Writers Theater building in Glencoe, Gang says she wanted to eliminate even more barriers. The experience of going to theater starts before you even get to the door. The real idea that came forward, I think, was trying to make uh, the, the building uh, be a new community center, not to make the theater something that's hidden away behind closed doors and walls and make it feel like you have to be uh, privileged to go there. It really it's trying to open itself up. The new $28 million complex is a vast upgrade for a small company that was begun in the North Shore community in 1992. For nearly a quarter of a century, writers presented highly acclaimed productions at two small venues where facilities for patrons and performers were far from ideal. The spaces that we were working in were, were really inadequate to the ability of the theater company to survive. We had, a, we had 50 seats at the bookstore, we had 108 seats over at uh, our former home at the women's club. The infrastructure of the buildings were both literally crumbling. You, you took your life in your hands if you went to the loo at intermission. But what once may have seemed like an impossible dream has come true. The new 36,000 square foot building is an elegant and spacious venue that welcomes visitors into a Greek theater-like lobby that can be used for performances, lectures, or even as a town square for community gatherings. The new main stage at Writers Theater seats 250, a significant increase from the 100 seats of the previous larger theater. But the goal was to maintain the intimacy that's at the core of the company's productions. We really focused on um, the, the intimacy, the connectivity between the performers, the people in the, the audience, and even the relationship between the people in the audience amongst themselves. The smaller of the complex's two stages gives a nod to the cramped bookstore where writers had its beginnings, with a hallway that's been created to look like the old facility. But the new performance space has the flexibility that the bookstore did not. The new theater building was a long time in coming, and it ultimately came about with the generosity of some deep North Shore pockets. We didn't want to design a building that we couldn't afford or that we couldn't get support for. So it was a very deliberate, thoughtful, I think, process that got us to where we are right now. We really reached out to the folks who have supported this company for the last 23, 24 years, and they really came through. We've actually had about 350 families, individuals who have contributed to this project, supporting the majority of the campaign. The new theater sits on the former site of the Woman's Library Club of Glencoe, which still owns the land, but is leasing it to Writers Theater at the rate of a dollar a year for the next 99 years. In designing the building, Jeannie Gang says she worked closely with artistic director Michael Halberstam. What were your uh, demands, or what did you? What was your input in this, Michael? <laughs> How demanding was he, Jeannie? Yeah, was can, I, was I spill I the beans demanding now. Why, yeah. It was um, terrible. Pretty demanding. Uh, was it awful? <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Not in a terrible way, but you know, it's always a pleasure. But it, but you know, very involved. That that's what makes great architecture is when the owner and the client is very involved, so that you can really get the feedback. And you know, he made time to be there for all the decisions. Among the building's architectural delights, there's an outdoor walkway that surrounds the second floor where visitors can take a stroll in good weather. A VIP lounge gives patrons of the theater a space where their beneficence is rewarded. But perhaps most significantly, many of the materials gang employs are repurposed or environmentally friendly. Basically our work has always got had this environmental ethos, so we were taking down a building here. Um, we wanted to repurpose some of the materials we found we could reuse the brick. We used also wood. Uh, wood is a very great renewable resource like Doug fir, which is really great to span long distances. And then we um, are using Port Orford cedar, uh, these battens that hold up the, the walkway around the theater. Last month, the theater got a trial run during a grand opening gala when dozens of performers who've worked at Riders over the last two and a half decades joined in song. By the looks of it, Writers Theater might have a new and open-ended hit on its hands. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Eddie Aruzzo.
And as we mentioned, the inaugural production at Ryder's Theater begins tonight, actually in just a few minutes, with a preview performance of Tom Stoppard's Arcadia.